Hi everyone, my name is Dan, and I want to talk to you about how much uh, you should care about your data. So, I have a lot of people I talk to about data and uh, protection, and I come in and I say, hey, let's replace your backup system with something a little more modern. And they go, that's great. So here's what we do now. We back up stuff monthly, weekly, fortnightly. Uh, we do this stuff daily, and we keep it forever. Well, we want to do that on our new system as well. And I say, whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. I'm not sure that's the best way we can approach this. So I think the first thing that's really important to understand is what you're actually trying to do. Are you trying to do backup and recovery? What's the point of this? Are you going to get the data back tomorrow for a user? Are you going to give it back in three weeks' time? Do you have some nasty auditor that comes in and wants to see your data, wants to peek behind the curtain and see just what that data looks like and whether you've been holding the right data for a long time? Or are you just trying to do DR, maybe the, the basement of your uh, building? gets flooded every now and then, and that's where you keep your power. Surprisingly, when your data center lives in that same building, you're not going to have power in the event of a flood. So you might want to do DR. You might want to shift that workload to another place somewhere else. Or maybe you just want to archive it. And you know, the amount of times I've had people who talk to me about backup systems being used as archive, and it doesn't help that a certain vendor goes out there and says, hey, you can keep your archive and your backup system on the same platform, all from one window. You really need to understand what you're trying to do with your data before you make any decision about buying stuff. Much as I'd love to sell it to you straight away, I'd love to sell you everything, that's not really what you want to do. And once you've understood that, it's important to understand how important the data is. Spoiler alert, you're actually going to know, go and talk to the business about this because chances are you in the IT department have no idea what the data is, you have no idea what the applications do, and you have no idea how important it is to the business. So go and have a chat to people. Talk to the CEO, talk to CXOs, talk to uh, Betty in the typing pool. She's gonna be able to tell you all the really important stuff, like where they keep that critical CRM spreadsheet. Once you've done that, then you can say, well, this is all the data I have. Some of it is important. Some of it's not actually that important at all. And some of it, well, it's sort of ordinary important because you don't want to keep everything forever. You might want to back it up for a period of time, but forever, that's a long time. That's a really, really long time. Categorize the data and understand the value. Because you don't want to keep it forever, you don't want to just, well, how do I put this? If you keep the data forever and you have a lot of data, chances are you're going to have more data in the next year, and then more data the year after that, and more and more data. And if you insist on keeping it forever, every little bit of data that you've got and backing it up every day, backing it up every week, backing it up every month, suddenly you're going to have an awful lot of data to keep somewhere. And you know what? Storage is cheap. Storage is really cheap. Everyone wants to tell you how cheap their storage is, but the point is, if you keep consuming at an insane rate, storage is also finite, and that's going to cost you money. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on keeping data forever, you need to understand the value of your data. It's okay to delete stuff. It's sometimes even a good thing. Sometimes you're going to get yourself in trouble if you don't delete stuff. So don't be afraid to go and talk to the compliance people in your organization about how long you should be keeping data for. And if they say, oh, well, I don't know, maybe it's seven years, maybe it's 99 years after the life, after the death of the patient, oh, maybe it's three weeks, get them to nail that down because there's no point keeping everything on the off chance that it might be important. You need to understand the value of the data, you need to understand how long you can keep it for, and you need to really understand how, how, what kind of impact keeping that data has on your organization. Because like it or not, backup and recovery activities and the cost associated with that is like an insurance policy. No one likes to pay for insurance, no one at all. But they love it when they actually have to dip into it and they, they get something back from it. So make sure that the business gets some sense of that value back from you. Do the right thing by them and they'll be happy to do the right thing by you.